James, well, I don't know if David, about Tipper of the Spirit. Must have been pretty happy with the way they come back there in 77. Yeah, yeah, no, they, I thought they were uh, they were very brave. Like, uh, first of all, the Reds were good. The Reds were good. Like we were dominant in the first 20 minutes. Um, they swung the momentum there. Just you know, we had a couple of issues around set piece that we spoke about at half time, and then we just spoke about duplicating the first 20 minutes um, from 40 to 60. But um, you know, I think we're in really good condition this year. We always train hard, but I think we've got pre-season right, and um, we saw the fruits of that in the uh, in the second half. Managed to finish the game well. Um, lost another couple of years, about five minutes to go there when Harry Wilson uh, scored under the post. He's a good footballer, but uh, but overall really pleased for the for the boys and especially the debutants. It's important. Uh, it's important uh, Noah Shabalov coming back to composure in that second half. Played with a lot of patience and just do some nice things. Yeah, I just I've, I've said all week that he's he's just a pretty calm and composed uh, kid, and nothing nothing rattles him or worries him too much. And um, you know he's uh, he did some really good things out there tonight, and he'll just continue to learn and grow and get better and better as a uh, as a footballer and as someone who's got to direct us around the park. It's um, and then I think for. Uh, you know, the most part of that second half, we managed to give him a decent platform. Our line-out was better, and more um, started to get some dominance. Um, so, yeah, that was a good platform for him to work off. You didn't get rattled at all, didn't There was a couple of kick with dead and, and dropped one as well, but yeah. then made a crucial turnover down the other end. Yeah, he's, just, he's got the ability to just park things, park things quickly, which is uh, you know, it's a good trait to have as a team because you're going to make mistakes. All, all, all players make mistakes. The greats have, have made plenty of mistakes. We're all human beings. It's, it's how you respond and how you react to it. So um, uh, he's, I uh, think he's pretty pleased. Tommy Wright's another one. He obviously mm. did the same. He maybe a little bit too eager in the first half, and then redeemed himself after. Yeah, no, he's, he's, and that's you know that's why Tommy got to start. You know, he's, his footwork and, and ability to beat a man one on one is uh, is his point of difference. His footwork and ability to beat a man one on one is is his point of difference. Uh, and he's quick. You know, when he goes, he, he's uh, he goes. Uh, yeah, Roddy was uh, Roddy was good. Um, 39 degrees and kicked off. Wow. Yeah. Um, Tommy, you mentioned that you know you're feeling a bit warm today. Yeah, it was warm. You know, I'm not going to lie, but um, you know we definitely felt it. <clears throat> um, but I was just proud of the boys and how they dug deep through that. Um, you know, as Dan said, we came out and we started really well. Um, you know, and and, and the mo- and the momentum shifted in the first half, but. I was proud of how the boys came out in the second half and just continued to build on that and uh, you know, just proud of the effort and, and, and most importantly coming away with the win. What was going on at the scrum time now? It seemed like you guys had a rough time with the first half there. Yeah, my, um, you know, we did, it was a few technical issues, um, you know, but I think it was good to get out of the way in, in, in round one. Um, and just it, it's an area that we're going to continue to grow on and, and it's definitely an area that we we're going to continue to have pride on. So, um, you know, it wasn't um, up, up to scratch to, tonight, um, you know, but it's definitely a growth area going into next week. Is it surprising given that you, know, you guys are all Waldies in the front row there? I know Danielle is there too um, on the other side, but is it surprising that you were so far on the back? No, I didn't, mate, um, because we knew that in terms of a forwards perspective, it was going to be a tough battle up front, um, you know, and, and, and you've got to give credit to the Reds. You know, they showed up there in the line out, um, you know, and, 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 and at scrum time. And I think from us, we just need to be better there. And, um, you know, we need to be better adjusting on the run, you know, instead of just back-to-back penalties in the scrum. So it's definitely a learning area for us, um, you know, and just looking forward to getting better, especially around our set piece. First um, choice as captain of Kennedy, about 20 metres out right in front. Phil Dan was probably screaming a few things down the line, but decided to go for the line out. What was running through your head? Right. We started fast, you know, we came out and we put pressure on them from the start um, and I just want to capitalise on, on that momentum, you know, and, um, you know, a couple of things didn't go away, but I just wanted to back the boys and back our Drew in the line-out, um, you know, and um, I'm just happy with how, how, how the boys reacted to that. Considering that fast start, you probably, you know, scored three tries there. What's the message under the post when you find yourself down 787? It's just about getting on the next job. Um, you know, as, as I said, we came out hard. Um, you know, but they they did well in terms of building momentum back for them. Um, you know, so for us it was about just moving on to the next job, and that was a kick off, and you know, just trying to put that pressure onto them. What particular moment were you most pleased with that Noah in terms of um, looking for him in the game to do something to settle you down? Was a particular moment in the game? 
Yeah. Really love how calm he was. Um, you know, especially as we said, how we put that kick down. Um, you know, and, and went out when went out a dead ball. But he was so calm with how he delivered messages. Um, you know, and he wasn't rattled. You know, felt like he was someone that's been playing 50 Super Games. You know, and that's a credit to him. And I know that as Dan said earlier, he's only going to grow as a player. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to him and, and and just seeing what he delivers throughout the year. Obviously, Henry run that line a million times. Obviously, like watching it from the other side. Yeah, not as good as what it was last year. <laughs> that's for sure. But it was a good play. You know, they they we probably uh, could have gone a bit harder at them in defence. There, we we knew we, we knew that play was coming. Um, let them get to the line and play on top of us, which isolated uh, Nara in defence there. And, and um, so we got some learnings there. We were just probably a little bit too passive as a group. Um, but great to see Silky uh, back in Canberra and, and, and get the uh, you know the response and the recognition that, that you'd expect for him. He's a much loved character of our community. He's always a Brumby. Um, he knows that. You mentioned, you mentioned making a few tweaks at half time there. Did anyone need a rev up or a round one? Oh, you know, we, we, we had some pretty robust discussions in the forwards, but it wasn't a you know, we weren't uh, uh, giving guys a rev up or, or blaming anyone. We just, you know, we needed to make some adjustments um, around a couple of key areas and, and understand what we're doing well in the first 20 minutes. Because as we've spoken about, the first 20 minutes we were um, ticking along nicely there. So, you know, there's, uh, as I said, there's some learnings there. But um, and she's always a ding dong battle up front against the Reds. Always is. It's it, uh, scrum, line out more. You know, we're not uh, we're not playing against a pack of uh, of lightweights. They're uh, I've been around Super Rugby a few years now. I know everyone keeps calling them young, but Liam Wright will be 32, and I still be calling them young. But um, but they're uh, they're a good pack of forwards, and, and, and made us work uh, hard for every inch. Yeah, no, um, obviously a lot going on in Canberra today. State of emergency, 39 degrees. Mm. So I spoke all week about wanting to performance that Canberra could be proud of. Do you, yeah. do you think you delivered that? And mm. how are you guys feeling given everything that's going on here? Uh, yeah, it's you know, it's you feel uh, it sort of puts it into reality. I, I, honestly, I pulled up my garage door at about three thirty this afternoon to go to the uh, go to the office to do a bit of work, and there were two coppers, two police officers, sorry, and uh, a couple of members from the Army Reserve uh, out the front, just uh, doing the, starting the door knocks around the Chapman area, and it was, uh, I was like, oh god, got a game of footy to go to. What have I done? It, um, so it puts it all into perspective, you know. So our thoughts are with, you know, we've, got, we've had Will Miller um, over, over Christmas. You know, the Lonigans are, are in that area as well. We've got staff who live down that way, and obviously, you know, many of our supporters and and uh, people that are within our community. So it's, um, you know, that, that one was uh, something that we spoke about before the game, and it's, you know, hopefully we'll put a smile on a few people's faces tonight. Did you wait to hear what the cops and the army officers had to say, or was your heart yeah. out of the office? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, just they asked me what my uh, fire exit plan was. I said, bump up the insurance and get out. <laughs> Are you guys in any down down Chapman? Like, what, what did that like? Did they just say have a plan ready? Or ah, uh, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, I'd probably just head straight to Brumbies HQ to be honest. It's the safest place to spend most of the time there. So. Yeah, yeah. It's you know we, we feel for all, all, all the all the people that are yeah. It's uh you know it's not a pleasant time for for Australia or, or you know the ACT and obviously the South Coast area and um, we're looking forward next week we're going to get down to Braidwood and I know they've got a, a rugby comp on down there the 60 teams so all the boys will be keen to get down there and and, and help out and and um, yeah just make sure that we're amongst the people that have been affected the. Uh, the most. I know that um, the club, that's certainly something that Tomo is uh, driving and we are as a team as well. Do you think uh, Super Rugby's on to something starting the season in 39 degree heat? They finally got the formula right? No. Nah. No. Nah. 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 It's, yeah. We talk about player welfare, like, you know, we've got big men having to run around and, and they're in good condition, but, uh, I'm hoping round one next year is not anywhere near January 31. You're limited with your preparation time, and it's it's dangerous. It really is. So it's not for me to make those decisions, but I'm sure that uh, people that make them will uh, will have a look at uh, what next year looks like. Yeah, 
the other one that has to suffer through it. Imagine you echo those comments. Yeah, well, I think first and foremost, you know, you know, it is what it is this year. Um, you know, but as Dan said, you know, hopefully it, it is a bit later um, next year. Um, you know, but as I said on, on today, mate, it was just a good effort from the boys. We knew it was going to be hot. Um, you know, that's, that, that's something that we look at early in the week. Um, you know, I'm happy with our staff. You know, they, they, they did everything they can to, to, to try and help us out there. But, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, the boys have to dig deep and, you know, and, and we're able to do that, so. Yeah, he's solid. Yeah, he had some, uh, had some good carries. Young Lucas defended him well there. Uh, a couple of times offline out, I thought he came up with a big play there off um, uh, in the second half. Chase Hart on a, on, a, on a contestable kick from Joey. Forced turnover off the back of it. And I think Wrighty scores not long uh, after. And that's they're the sort of qualities, you know, everyone thinks about attack and that sort of thing, but he, he brings other qualities as well. So. Um, I thought it was a good solid here for uh, for Sol, and, and like all of us, he'll be uh, he'll be better. He's now got a good, you know, 55, 60 minutes on board of Super Rugby. He knows what to expect now. So uh, I thought he I thought he did well.